What are some of those trends that you're seeing on LinkedIn right now? Sure. Right now, we are seeing a lot of softness that we saw in December continue into January. Um, so our best guess is that double dip that the labor market was experiencing um, you know, in the last couple of months, we're probably only starting to climb out of it. And you know, maybe tomorrow's numbers will look weekly positive, but not at all anything to um, consider a victory. I think we're going to have to wait until February uh, to really start to see our labor market pull itself out of this double dip. Why do you think that is? I mean, when, when you think about that timing, is part of this seasonal effects as well? Is it COVID cases and the fact that those are now starting to, and some of those key metrics are now starting to come down, and that could be a leading indicator looking at February? Look, I think it's really all about getting people vaccinated and getting ahead of the virus um, because the virus is shutting down the industries where we hire the most, you know, the large service sector industries like restaurants, entertainment, travel, recreation. So until those reopen, we're not going to be able to see the, the big swaths of hiring that we need to pull those um, 10 to 12 million people that Steve was talking about uh, back into the labor market. Um, and I think it's going to take a combination of the fiscal stimulus to kick in that we got in December, maybe more to come. It's going to be the vaccinations being more uh, broadly available um, and in place, and maybe a little bit of better weather, too, to let people get outside safely. Now, we just teased it, but where are you seeing, um, I guess, the, the most job prospects right now? What are the metro areas or, or the regions of the country where it's actually been holding up better than other parts? So it might come as no surprise, but the metro areas that are tending to be most attractive right now when people can, say, move um, and still work remotely or go for new opportunities are uh, states where there are either no income taxes or it's sort of a flat, low flat mm -hmm. rate. So Florida... Texas, even North Carolina, um, these have been Tennessee, these have been very popular states. Um, we're also noticing a trend um, that has been widely talked about, and we've seen it for a bit, which is a trend away from the big cities um, that tend to be expensive. Um, and a lot of the amenities that they're offering just aren't even available right now. So people are looking into uh, more affordable second cities, get more space, um, and maybe find new opportunities. So a lot of cities like Charlotte, Austin, um, continue to be very popular. Hmm. I guess it's not surprising. It's still disheartening as somebody who's in the New York metro area to see. Uh, I have to say, I am curious though, I don't know, based on, on data that you that you were able to collect and, and, and sort of analyze right now, are you seeing any fundamental changes start to take root in terms of how people are searching for jobs, what they're looking for, um, whether they're starting to drop out of the labor force as well in terms of their LinkedIn bios? You know, quite frankly, um, we're seeing a lot of interest on our platform. Um, there are, you know, increasing number of jobs, increasing number of applications. Um, but we are definitely seeing people who are looking for remote work opportunities. And um, that has risen by 400% in the past year. Wow. Um, so, so really large numbers of people who are searching explicitly for remote work. A lot of job postings um, that offer remote work um, are the most popular ones. Um, but of course, those are clustered in certain sectors, right? Um, you're not seeing as many remote work opportunities in uh, construction or manufacturing as you're going to see in the tech space or um, you know, in professional business services. Yeah, that's interesting, especially when you know construction and manufacturing have been holding up relatively well versus some of they those have. other harder hit industries. Karen Absolutely, Kendra. housing, construction, all that's done really, really well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.